Hello dear students, how are you doing there? Hope you are fine and everything is okay. So for today we are going to have a review, okay? The units which are... Hello dear students, how are you? Hope you are doing well and everything is okay with you. So for today we are going to have a, a review. It's going to cover units uh, 3, 4 and 5. Ticket to English 1 for first year students. So we'll see tenses, models and prepositions. Let's uh, first get started. So here you are. Our exercise, our first exercise will be about the simple past form and the present perfect form and as you know there is a difference between these two tenses even if we use them both to describe actions or events that took place in the past so as you know we use the simple past to talk about an action or about actions that took place in the past and the, the action or the actions are over whereas we use the present perfect to talk about an action about actions in the past and uh, these actions have uh, some kind of impact on the present concerning the form so verbs in simple past are divided into two main categories okay so we have regular verbs to which we add the D, ED, or I, ED to the end of the verb. We have also another category of verbs which we call irregular verbs, okay? They don't have any rule, so you can go to the end of your books and consult the list of irregular verbs which is there. Now, concerning the present perfect, its form is as follows. First, we need to provide an auxiliary. The auxiliary which we use is the auxiliary to have. It is put in the simple present form. So it is either have or has and then it's followed by the past participle form of the verb. Once again the past participle form it can be either regular which means we add D, E, D or I, E, D like the example which is here or an irregular form that you can find in the list I have just stated before. Now here, in these uh, examples or in this exercise, we have some sentences. So you are going to fill in the blanks here with the appropriate form of the verbs which are between brackets. So for each verb, you have two forms. You have either the simple past form or the present perfect form. I'm going to read the sentences for you, explain them, and then we're going to see the answers. So for A, we have my brother, okay, here in London, which is a place, last year. Pay attention here, okay? Last year, last year. This indicates the appropriate tense, which we're going to use here, last. So whenever we have last, we use uh, Okay, I'm not going to, to rush and tell you which tense we're going to use here. So pay attention to this indicator last. Now here, B. Shall we leave now? No, I, my luggage, yet. Okay, so here we have yet. Once again, this is an indicator. It indicates uh, the tense of this sentence. Here, see I, this car in, in 1999. Okay, in 1999. Here, D, can I help you? You for three hours. For three hours. Okay. So here, E, to Spain. To Spain. You have, did you ever go? Have you ever been? Okay, to Spain. F, so Brahim isn't at home. Brahim isn't at home. Okay. 
So at the moment of speaking, Brahim is somewhere. He is not at home. So what did he do? He he will have left, which is the past of the verb to leave, or has just left. Now here, G, your homework. Now pay attention here. Haven't you? Which means you haven't. Ta 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 ta. Etc. Okay. H, you are still busy. You this homework since ten. Did. Or have been done. Okay, then. So let's go straight to the correction. The first sentence My brother. Yes, so once here we have last year, it's the simple past. So my brother visited London last year, okay? Now let's move to D. Shall we leave now? No, I haven't packed my luggage. So haven't packed, which is the present perfect form of the verb to pack, it's in the present perfect form because here we have the yet. I haven't packed my luggage yet. Now let's move to C. I, we have the verb to buy, either in the simple past or the present perfect. This car in 1991. Yes, here you are. I bought the simple past because here we have in, uh, that indicates. Uh, a specific time in the past. Yes, here, D. Can I help you? As I told you before, this indicator will be for, for, for. So whenever we have for, and the for indicates time in the past, we use the present perfect. And here it's the present perfect continuous. Okay, the present perfect continuous. Have auxiliary and be another auxiliary. This is to have, this is to be, and uh, the present participle form of the verb to drive. S E to Spain, to Spain. Yes, have you ever been? Have you ever been to Spain? Which means, have you ever visited Spain? Okay, then F. Brahim isn't at home. He was at home, but he, he left home. Okay? So, he has just left. He has just left. So, the effect of leaving home is seen. Okay? It's clear. Which means he, has not, he is not at home. Now, here, G, your homework, haven't you? Okay? As I have told you before, here we have haven't you, which means you haven't, and plus the verb. Yes. You've done your homework, present perfect, haven't you, which is a, a tag question. This here, H, you are still busy, you have been doing, which means you were busy, you have been uh, doing this homework since, and the indicator here is, is uh, since, 10. Yes? So let's see something else. Now, in this exercise, we are going to see the difference between the simple past form and the past continuous form. So, as we have seen before, we use the simple past for an action that took place in the past and the action is over. Now, we use the past continuous for actions that took place in the past and the action was long. Okay? And whenever these two tenses are used together, okay? So, we use the simple past for the short action and the past continuous form for the long action, okay? So here the instruction is as follows. 
put the verbs between brackets in the simple past form, simple past, or the past continuous form. Okay, I'm going to read the sentences for you and explain things which are difficult. So here we have Ali, what? Okay, so pay attention please here. We have a WH word and we have a question mark at the end of the sentence, which means that the form of the verb here is going to be in the interrogative form, okay? What you do when the accident occurred. So, you, you were doing something which, which is a long action in the past and suddenly the accident happened or occurred, took place, okay? So, the accident was a short action and the thing that you were doing here is a long action. So, Brahim, I... So here the long action, I tried to change the light, light bulb, or a light bulb, okay? Now here D, Sebastian, so the verb is arrive at Susan's house a little before 9 p.m., okay? I think that the action of uh, arriving is a short one. But she, okay, here, as you know, to be, we don't use, we don't put this verb in the progressive form. So, be not there. She, okay, the verb to study in the library for her final examination in French, okay? And uh, for sure that the action of studying something takes uh, some time, okay? Now here, Sandy is in the living room watching television. At this time yesterday, which means like this time yesterday, she watched also television, okay? The verb to watch and television, it takes uh, uh, somehow a long period of time. That's all she ever does. The Peter, I called you last night. Uh, pay attention here to last, last, whenever we have last, okay? We put the, the verb in the simple past. So, I called you last night after dinner, but you, and here we have B, not there. Where were you? Uh, Jane, I work out, okay, doing some physical exercises. I work out at the fitness center. I watch, the verb watch, which is, it seems to be a long action here, a mystery movie, movie on TV when the electricity went out. So the, the short action is, is, is here, went out. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the end of the movie. It's the one before the last. Sarah be in the room when John told me what happened, but she didn't hear anything because she and listen. Okay, when you listen to something, for example, to music, etc., it takes uh, a little bit. To... Yes, a period of time. Okay. Now here, the Titanic, the verb to cross the Atlantic, when it strike an iceberg. So here we have two actions, okay? And you, you can guess the long one and the short one just from the, the meaning, okay? Yes, let's start the correction. So A, Ali, what uh, were you doing? So the auxiliary is here. Then the subject is in the middle plus the verb, okay? What were you doing when the accident occurred? This one is short and this one is long, okay? Ibrahim, I, I was trying to change a light bulb, okay? Then B, Sebastian arrived, this is a short action, at Susan's house a little before 9 p.m. But she, okay, another short action, but she wasn't there, she wasn't uh, at home, okay, where was she or what was she, was she doing? She was studying in the library for her final examination in French, okay? This action is uh, a little bit long. It's, see, Sandy is in the living room watching television, at this time yesterday, Okay, it's like this side yesterday. She was also watching television. That's all she ever does. Okay, 
she spends her time just watching television. The Peter and uh, here pay attention to last night, okay? This is the simple past. Peter, I called you last night after dinner, but you and B, which is never put in the progressive form, but you weren't there. Where were you? Is the answer. Jane, I work, okay? Which is uh, a little bit, uh, takes a little, uh, considerable amount of time. Yes, I was working out, uh, I was exercising at the fitness center. Then e, I watch a mystery movie, watching a movie, okay? A movie is around one hour and a half long, two hours, etc. So I was watching a movie, a mystery movie on TV, when the electricity went out. And unfortunately, I couldn't see the end of the movie. Then Sarah, okay, so here B, which is never put in the progressive form as I told you before, was in the room when John told me what happened, but she didn't hear anything because she, and we were here to listen, but it's in the negative form, but she wasn't listening. The Titanic, so crossed the Atlantic, okay, it took a long period of time, and striking the iceberg, or an iceberg was in the middle of this action. So the Titanic was crossing the Atlantic when it struck. The past of the verb to strike is strike. It's an irregular verb, an iceberg. Okay? Now let's move to another exercise, okay? So the same thing here. So give the right form of the words. The, the words are verbs, of course. Okay? So you can put them either in the simple past form or the past continuous form, which means we are going to apply the same principle. When an action is long, we put the verb in the past continuous form. When the action is short, we put the verb in the simple past form. Okay? So here this extract starts with when. At the moment when or a while. So when I walked into the post office yesterday. So here we have walked into and yesterday, okay? Simple past. Several people, so people, they were doing something, okay? And suddenly I walked into the post office. So several people were busily Typing, which means they were in the middle of the action of typing. Some talk on the phones, just like the first action, typing. Some were talking on the phones. Now here, the boss. What was he doing? The boss, so to yell, to shout, okay, to, to talk loudly. So the boss was yelling directions, he was giving directions. And customers were waiting to be helped. Now, one customer was yelling at a secretary and waving, okay? So was he yelling and was waving, and waving his hands, which means moving his hands. Others, the verb here, to complain to each other about the bad service. So others, pay attention here, the subject is in the plural form. So others were complaining to each other about the bad service. Yes. For the second extract B, when I went to Jamet Ifna, okay, the famous square in Marrakesh. When I went to Jamet Ifna, a couple of sellers, okay, the verb here is uh, bargaining, 
Okay. Yes, a couple of sellers were bargaining. So to bargain about something when we will discuss the price of something. Okay. For example, when you want to, to buy an article, you go to a shop and you start bargaining about the price. Start uh, discussing the price. So a couple of sellers were bargaining and and okay. So the, the second verb is going to be related to the first one. Okay, because there we have uh, a conjunction addition. And trying to sell their goods to tourists who okay. So tourists are or they were searching for souvenirs. Okay. They were buying presents. So who were hunting for souvenirs? A couple of men, which is the plural form of men, which means so here the verb is going to be in the plural form. A couple of men were arguing over, they were bargaining the price. We're arguing over the price of a leather boat. Now acrobats, acrobats were performing, it's a long action, okay? Acrobats were performing attractive shows and the spectators, people who were watching the acrobats, okay, to watch with interest which means they were interested in the show, were watching with interest. Yes? That's all for this part. Let's move to something else. Now here we are going to see models, okay? So we'll have a look at must, okay? So must expresses certainty and it expresses obligation as well okay then we have can't okay which means when we are not certain about something when we when something is not possible we use can't then the third model here is may okay and it expresses Possibilities, like for example, when you say perhaps are not sure about something. Yes, I'm going to read the sentences for you and make things clear, okay, if need be. The first one A, they have moved into my neighborhood. So to move, okay, to move from one place to another. And the neighborhood is the group of houses which are in the same place, we call it a neighborhood, for very long, okay? Which means they have been living in our, in my neighborhood for a long period of time. So they know many people. It's, it's for granted that they know many people once they have been living here for a long period of time, okay? So we are sure about this fact. Now B, you've been working hard all day long so of course when we work hard for a long period of time the result of this hard work is feeling tired okay um, so I'm for sure that you are tired now here I'm not sure I'm not certain okay I'm not sure but it's rain tomorrow okay there is some doubt so 50% it's going to rain, 50% not, okay? So we are not certain about uh, rainfall. Now, D, Jane, the feeling bored, okay? She's tired, she's bored with her work. She does the same thing every day, which means she suffers from routine, okay? So when we do the same thing every day, we feel bored, okay? We don't have energy. E, this restaurant be a good one, okay? 
Let's go to the second part. It's always empty. So once it's empty, so emptiness is the result of hmm, something which is not okay there. So is it a good restaurant or a bad restaurant? Okay. Now F. Aisha go with us. The second part, she hasn't decided yet, which means she hasn't made up her mind. Yes, maybe she is going to go with us. Maybe she is going to refuse and stay at home. Why not sure? Then G, this jacket isn't good quality. Okay, the quality isn't that good. It be very expensive. In fact, things which are good quality, they cost a lot of money. But in this case, the jacket here, which we are talking about, is not good quality, which means it doesn't deserve a high amount of money. H, who's that boy? Who's that boy? You know, you want to know the boy who is over there. I don't know. He B. Okay, I'm not sure. Latifa's brother or someone else. Okay, we're not certain about this uh, piece of information. I, she got a terrible mark, a terrible grade at school, which means she did not do well at school so for sure her parents be very angry they will not be satisfied about her terrible mark yes so let's start the correction first one they have moved into my neighborhood for a long for very long so we are, we are sure about this piece of information they must know many people, which is the result of living for a long period of time in our neighborhood. Now, the second sentence, you've been working hard all day long. Okay? So, the result of hard work is being tired. Okay? So, for sure, you must be very tired. Okay? I'm totally convinced that you are very tired. Now see, I'm not sure, I'm not certain. There is a kind of possibility, things are not clear. So I'm not sure, but it may, uh, perhaps it's going to rain. It may rain tomorrow. Now here, Jane be feeling bored with her work because she does the same thing every day. So we are sure about her feeling. Jane must be feeling bored, okay? She suffers from boredom. And E, the restaurant, so it's always empty. Why is it empty? Because, so this restaurant can't be a good one, okay? It's a bad restaurant. Maybe they serve bad food. That's why it's always empty. Aisha go with us, but we are not sure whether she made up her mind or, or not. Okay? She is hesitating. Okay? We are not sure. It's possible. May. May go with us. She hasn't decided yet. Now, this jacket isn't a good quality. Okay? So, the result? The price is not going to be expensive. So it can't be very expensive, for sure. Okay? Now who's that boy? I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to guess. He may be Latifa's brother. Okay? It's possible that he is Latifa's brother. And the last one. She got a terrible mark at school. So the results, her parents must be very angry, okay? They are not going 
to be satisfied with her grade and her mark. Yes. Now let's move to the second exercise. Yes. Now exercise B, the same thing, models. So you are going to fill in the blanks in each sentence, but now you have choices, which means you choose the appropriate model to fill in the blank, okay? So pay attention to the meaning of each sentence. So for example, here number one, you speak any foreign language. So speaking a foreign language is an ability, okay? Whether we are able to speak a foreign language or not. Now, Rashid gets tired of his job, it's too boring. So the job is boring and the result is being tired. Now, where is Bill? Okay, where is Bill? You, you are putting the question about Bill. He be in his office, okay? Now, the second part, I saw him there this morning, which means you are sure, I saw him there this morning. Take an umbrella, okay? So when it rains, we use uh, an umbrella to protect ourselves from the rain. Okay, in order not to, to get wet. It's rain later, okay? Maybe in this case we are sure about the rainfall. Now, five, Sufian go to hospital. He has terrible influenza, okay? So he went to hospital because he suffers from uh, terrible influenza. Six, you do this math exercise for me. I've already tried it, okay, which means I've tried to solve it, but I found it too difficult. Okay, you are asking for help. Which means it's a polite question here. Seven, Jane was overtired. She was very, very tired and looked sleepy, which means she wanted to sleep. She have worked days and nights. She, ha so here, of course, half is in the infinitive form because we're going to put a model here, okay? So she plus the model plus have worked a lot, okay? So when we work a lot, we feel over tired, which is more than tired. Okay, so here we have a prefix. Yes, let's start the correction. So for number one, we're going to choose between may, not, can, and must. And as I have told you before, speaking a foreign language is an ability, okay? We can say either able or we are not able. So here you are. Can you speak any foreign languages? Yes, I can. No, I can't. And the second one, Rashid must get tired of his job. Why? It is so boring. So the job is so boring, that's why Rashid must get tired. It's a, a result, okay? It's deduced from the second sentence. Now, where is Bill? As you can see here, I saw him. Which means there's a kind of certainty here. Yes, where is uh, Bill? He be in his office. I saw him there this morning. Okay, so let's start the correction. Number one, we have you speak any foreign languages, and as I told you before, speaking a foreign language is an ability, okay? So here you are. Can you speak any foreign languages? So the answer is going to be yes, I can. No, I can't. For number two, Rashid get tired of his job. It's so boring. Okay. So the result of the job is being tired. So for sure, Rashid must get tired of his job. Number three, where is Bill? He and be in his office. I saw him there this morning. Okay. He may be in his office. Why? Because I saw him there this morning. Maybe he is still there. Now, take an umbrella, 
Okay, take an umbrella. I'm insisting on the umbre on the umbrella, so it might rain, which is there is a possibility that it's going to rain, but we are not that sure. We are not sure 100%. Okay, so Sufyan go to hospital. He has terrible influenza. Okay, so Sufyan must go. Yes, he is obliged to go to hospital. Otherwise, the situation is going to be bad yes you do this math exercise for me you are asking someone to do you a favor okay to do something for you yes it's a polite question can you do this exercise this math exercise for me and the last one yes here you are jane was overtired and looks sleepy she must you are sure okay she must have worked days and nights she must have worked a lot okay that's why she is feeling overtired and sleepy yes, let's move to something else In this part we are going to see prepositions okay so you are uh, required to complete the the sentences which are on the screen okay and the exercise there is taken from your textbooks take it to english one so the instruction is as follows with a partner if it is possible otherwise you can do it alone so fill in the gaps with the, the prepositions which are there okay we have a list so we have in in inside at close to on for from over with and to so my mother bought me a new dress the store the store is the place from where we buy goods. So we buy something from a place. My mother bought me a new dress from the store. Now, I found the past of the verb to find. I found my car keys, the keys of my car, my pockets. So of course, we put something in the pocket okay inside the pocket so I found my car keys in my pocket yes I saw the verb to see in the past the horse jump the fence okay fence is a kind of barrier okay like a hurdle okay so I saw the horse to jump over the fence okay we jump over now, Maria lives with her parents. They live together in the same house. So, Maria lives with her parents in the house, in a small house. Now, every morning, I take the bus, which means I go from home to school by bus. So, I take the bus to school I sometimes have a siesta so a siesta is a nap okay when we sleep for a short period of time mostly it's around 10 to 15 minutes okay right after having lunch so I sometimes have a siesta in the afternoon okay so most of the time we use the preposition in before the afternoon okay so in the afternoon this is, so in which is there is a preposition of time then we have the sitting room here we are going to use a preposition of place same thing in so the first in is for time and the second one is for place G my teacher drives okay he takes his car and he drives to okay, school every day which means he goes to school by car so he drives to school it's just like uh, sentence letter E and the last one we went Marrakesh you move or you moved from your town to Marrakesh we went to Marrakesh okay the direction is Marrakesh when on vacation okay see on vacation 
Yes, in the second exercise we have there some pictures which are taken from your textbook. Okay, so try to look at the pictures and fill in the blanks. You can choose uh, prepositions from the list which is there. It's all on the top. So you choose just uh, the ones that fit and they better describe the pictures. So we have here in, you have between, up, across, into, under, above, past, by, inside, under, down and over. So if you can see the first picture here, so we have a river and we have uh, a bridge and uh, a little boat. Okay, so we have the boat, sailed, the bridge, so the bridge, yes, so here it is, so the boat sailed under the bridge, okay, because the bridge here is above the boat. Now in the second uh, picture we have the school bus, and we have some students, they are riding the bus, maybe they are going to school by bus. So the students get on. So when we want to ride the bus, we get on the bus. And when the bus stops and we arrive at our destination, we get off. O double F. We get off the bus. Now here, try to look at picture C. So we have two dogs and we have uh, a yellow cat. So the cat is the dogs. It's in the middle. The cat is between the dogs. Okay? Now here we have three ducks. Ducks. The ducks are swimming. And we have the water which is there. So the ducks, they are going and coming, okay? So the ducks are or swim across the water, okay? Yes. E. The kittens, the little cats, are sitting and here we have a basket. Pay attention to the cats, where are they? So the kittens are sitting inside the basket. Yes, let's go to F. Here we have uh, a mouse. And just above the, ma the mouse we have a table. Now the mouse is... Uh, okay, can we describe the mouse? Where is it? Yes, so the mouse is under the table, okay, under, under the table. Now, try to have a look at the G, the boy, do we have a box? Maybe the boy is running, okay, and the box is a kind of barrier, so he is jumping over, over the, the box. The last one, H, the men, okay, dive, dive to go deep in the water, okay? So the men dive into, so he, he went deep in the water, he, he dived into the water. Yes, that's all for now. Wish you good luck, keep safe. And bye-bye.